Artist and printer Philip Coppola began sketching the intricate mosaics, plaques and artwork on the city's subway system back in 1978. And 40 years and 110 stations later, he's still going strong. When I began my study, a voice inside my head said, you know, why don't you see how conscious people are of the subway art after all? I'd say, um, are you aware of the art in the subway? <laughs> well, half of them said, what art? Nothing, no idea at all. I got some pens here. Red, green, and blue. Here we go. My study of the subway really began years ago when I was eight years old. My father told me that down in the subway station in New York, there were pictures on the walls. I thought that was very curious. But what got me going deeper, besides the fact that I realized some stations were losing their decor so they had to be recorded, and realizing this, I got concerned and thought, well, somebody has to preserve a record of what we have now became sort of a cause for me to record the embellishments of the stations. So it rather snowballed into a rather a long project, which is now 40 years in the making and not done yet. Well, actually, the earliest stations were built 1900, 1904. And at that time, uh, was a, uh, a great movement called the City Beautiful Movement when the, uh, the mayor and his council decided that they wanted to establish New York as noble and attractive a city as the old European capitals were, are, which the Americans and New York as always looked up to. And the mayor decided, well, you know what, we can do that right here in New York also. A good example of the very high design elements in, a, in the subway station will be found at Borough Hall in Brooklyn, the first subway station and the first subway line into Brooklyn. It's just like one of the uh, dozen designs that Lafarge cre created just for this station alone, but it's, uh, it's worth it. So what I do when I do my, my project, I have to do it at night, on weekends. Often you'll find me at the library or in the, on the subway drawing pictures of what's on the wall and taking notes on how any mosaics are there, what color are they, the general description of any station. The station is named for John Jacob Astor, his Astor Place. His library is nearby, and he uh, was a, um, a very uh, shrewd businessman and made several fortunes in his lifetime. And one of them was with the beavers because at the, in the early 1800s, the top hat with the beaver fur was the very big top of fashion. I've been self-publishing my work ever since I began. This year, though, a lot has changed. A uh, university has published a book of my drawings. My drawings and my notebooks, the real thing, the originals, have been on display in Grand Central Terminal. This what it's for, that's what people, made us yes. stop yeah. and appreciate. Mm -hmm. Look at 137th Street. Mm -hmm. Look at that. We don't That's do that terracotta. anymore. No, we, no don't. we don't, no. We don't have time to look at it, no. and we don't have the money to produce it. Since I started this study, being, I hope, somewhat of a thorough person, I intend to finish it, which means I really have to visit all the stations in the system. I have quite a long road ahead of me. I've done 110 stations so far. And I have many more to go, obviously 360 more, more and more, God knows.
because um, it just I've started, I feel I have to finish it.